Welcome back to Amazing Buys, and today we are in Ulta. I'm really excited to talk about a couple of new perfumes that came in. Right when I walked in, I noticed the new Givenchy Gentleman Society. I loved how it was right next to Irresistible on the display, so I'm going to be placing the notes on the screen for each perfume I talk about. Lately, I've been seeing a repeat as far as what notes are being used in cologne, but regardless, this smells amazing. Whenever cardamom and vetiver is mentioned in the notes, I feel like there's going to be a good chance I like it. This cologne would work all year round. On the middle display of the perfume section, they had candles out. To me, the eyelash candle was light to the nose, so hopefully it's stronger when it's actually lit. Not sure why my store had Homeworks winter candles out, but they all smelled really nice. Sugar cookie and cinnamon sticks were my favorite. Okay, first thing I want to say about Versace Dylan Purple is that it has a beautiful bottle. This perfume is floral, slightly fruity, and musky. It's not overpowering or offensive, it smells good, just wasn't unique. It kind of smells like a really good shampoo, minus the soapy smell if that makes sense. Versace Dylan Blue was more on the unique, sophisticated side. The mixture of notes were kind of confusing to me. It starts off aquatic, clean, and powdery, but changes in the middle notes and the dry down. So when trying this, don't dismiss right away. I feel like Dylan Purple could be an everyday scent, but Dylan Blue could be a dress down and a special event perfume. Let me know what notes stick out to you in the comments. Okay, Kate Spade, I was pretty impressed by Shetty. Despite what the notes say, this gave me fields of flowers in Italy type of vibes. This display picture was perfect for this perfume. Imagine walking in a flower shop and smelling a mixed bouquet of flowers. To me, this was a bit different than your typical floral fruity scents. I happened to find these Truly perfumes on a small display towards the back. I thought they were okay, but maybe not worth the price. Coco Cloud was an airy coconut scent and Unicorn Fruit was similar to pink sugar. It smells like sweet sugary candy. And finally, Billie Eilish number two. This starts off very woody and peppery. If you were expecting this to be like the original, think again. This is unisex, but leans more on the masculine side. The wood notes are pretty sharp, but will soften up with the dry down. What I think would be interesting is if you layered the original on top of number two. If you try this, let me know and give a shout out to my channel. If you've made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow I'll be uploading a video on new fragrances at Sephora. I upload every day, so don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe.